having your child on an iPad or iPhone doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. As always, we can do what we do best and make this a very educational learning experience. So today I'm gonna give you my top 12 learning apps for kids. Hey fun people, welcome back to Everything Aj and if you're new here, Hi, my name is Aja. Introduce yourself down below in the comments. Here on Everything Aja, I make parents and teachers make learning as fun and simple as possible. If this sounds like you, then go ahead and like, subscribe, and click the bell. And don't forget to introduce yourself down below in the comments. Today, I'm gonna give you 12 really, really fun educational apps. And I must say, many of these apps do cost. I mean, you get what you pay for. So I wanted to let you know that in advance. Let's just go ahead and jump into our first app, which is actually by far my favorite app, hence why it is number one, and that is ABC Mouse. You might have heard of ABC Mouse and you just want to know what is all the hype about. Well, ABC Mouse is by far amazing. So once you purchase ABC Mouse, you actually get an entire bundle of apps that you can use with your child. Through the main app, your child has their very own learning path, but what I really like is the classroom feature because in the classroom feature, your child has access to books, puzzles, even educational games. They also even get to experience what it's like being responsible and taking care of somebody because they get their own pets. Yes, digital pets. My two year old, she has a digital lion, she has a horse, she has a cat and a dog. And I think they even gave her a fish. She doesn't really take care of the fish that much, <laughs> but she takes care of all of her other animals. If your child's one that loves the color, you even get coloring pages that go along with different letters in the alphabet. Your child can go on a virtual field trip to the zoo and they can even practice tracing their letters. As in all my videos, I have the link down below in the description so that you can actually try out ABC Mouse for free for your first month. So you have nothing to lose, go ahead and click the link in the description so that you can get your very first months free. I'll also include the link down below where you can get your first two months for only $5. Winning! Now my child has been using ABC Mouse for about a year and a half, so we started when she was almost two years old. Now our second educational app you might have seen in this video where I showed you how to use this actually on the desktop, but our second app is called Starfall. And this app is pretty basic. With math you have your numbers and your shapes, and of course with literacy you have your letters and reading, and even a lot of music. And Starfall also gives you some really cool holiday activities that you can do with your little one. The one thing I really like about Starfall is because they really go over short vowel sounds. Now our third app is called Time Academy Kids and you guys have to download this app. I love this app. When I tell y'all I love Khan Academy, I love Khan Academy. Anyways, I'm sorry. So with Khan Academy, your child goes on a complete adventure. I will say it's not like some of these other apps where your child could kind of skip around, but they will simply follow their path and they will do all sorts of things from counting hats and having to drag and drop the hats on top of different characters to even having read alouds. They even get to practice addition with 10 frames and everything in between all of that. So with Khan Academy, you definitely want to go ahead and download this app. Now our fourth app is no stranger to most of my old school people, okay? But our fourth app is the Hooked on Phonics app. And Hooked on Phonics has been around for years. Okay, a little story time, y'all. With me, I did not quite read phonetically when I was a little kid because I learned based on sight words. That was the big thing. You memorize these words and then you just had to learn based on sight words. But by the time my mother realized that that really wasn't the best method, when my brother came around years and years later, she put him on Hooked on Phonics starting at the age of two. When I tell y'all he was reading before he got to kindergarten and it was strictly because he was on Hooked on Phonics every day and every night doing Hooked on Phonics. So that's my personal story where I can tell you firsthand I have seen Hooked on Phonics work with my brother. But if you've never heard of Hooked on Phonics, Hooked on Phonics basically is all about getting your child to read. I'm actually gonna include the link down below in the description where you can get your first month on Hooked on Phonics for only a dollar. Yes, 
just a dollar, you guys. And that way you can try it out and see if this app works best for you. Now coming in at app number five, we have Homer. And the really cool thing about Homer is it asks you what your child's interest levels are, and then it'll ask you what your child already knows. So based on what your child knows and what their interests are, it actually creates an individualized plan for your child. So it's really tailored to each child's likes and skills. And with Homer, you have reading, math, creativity, and even social and emotional skills that are all developed in this app. Now, let's play some games because coming in in our next app, you have ABC Our Games. And this is another one I mentioned in this video that you can do on a desktop. Hmm. Anyways, with ABC I Games, there's pretty much all educational games, reading games, language arts games, math games. When you go on there, you simply click exactly how old your child is or what grade your child's in, and then they're able to determine which games they want to play based on if they want to play games on letters or numbers or even holidays. And your child gets to interact and play the games and, of course, make learning fun. Now, coming in our next app, we're going to read a little bit. And our our next app is called Epic. And if you have a very small library of books in your home or in your classroom, then Epic is the app for you. Epic is pretty much an online library of books. There's also other apps that do the exact same thing. So you have books, get it, instead of books, books. Anywho, you also have Little Critters Library, and I'll include the names to all of these apps down below in the description. But all of these apps simply have a library of books that you can actually read to your child or read to your children. Children. Now coming in at app number eight, we have Tech City. Yes, and with this app, you really do need to use your very own smart cycle. I actually did an entire video on this app right here. So if you're interested, make sure you watch that video. I'll include it right here, and I'll also include it down below in the description. But with Tech City, your child is literally riding a bike and using the app at the same time. So it's very interactive, and it works out their gross motor skills. And as they're riding the bike, they're working on letter recognition, as well as sight words and they even have to kind of order different words and put them in different piles and y'all this app does all sorts of things especially with literacy so I would definitely recommend you to check out that video because I do an explicit tutorial all about the bike and that app now our next app is the Osmo app and I will say, in order to use the Osmo app, you do need an Osmo starter kit because you can't really play the app without the pieces. It's not really fun. So with the Osmo app, your child actually interacts with the app by using these pieces and actually forming different letters. And then it's really cool because it takes a picture of the letter that your child formed and then they can see the letter that they just simply made on the screen. Of course, this app does a lot more than simply letter recognition. Your child can do a dress up party, they can draw, they can even work on shapes using the pieces. So you definitely have to make sure you check this video out where I kind of go more in depth. And also down below in the description, I will include the link to the actual starter kit because you do need the starter kit in order to work the app. Woo, let's jump to app number 10. And before we do that, if you're getting value already, then make sure that you like, subscribe, and click the bell. Don't forget to introduce yourself if you're a new subscriber. Hey! And I really, really wanna know what learning apps do you use? Let me know down below in the comments what learning apps do you use? All right, so let's jump into app number 10. And coming in at learning app number 10 is Scratch Junior. So many jobs nowadays are all STEM related jobs. So in order to develop those cognitive skills in your child's brain with their thinking, then let's teach them coding and let's teach them coding very young. So with Scratch Junior, your child simply practices coding. I actually did an entire video. So make sure you check this video out as well if you're really interested in how to get your child coding at an early age. So coming in at app number 11 is the preschool and kindergarten app. Yes, you guys, I know it sounds really crazy, but if you go to like the Apple store, type in preschool and kindergarten, and you will see this app pop up. It has a little picture of an owl, so cute. But if you're looking for an alternative to some of these other expensive apps, then this is a really good cheap option that you can do, because with this app, you just pay for it one time and you have access to over 30 different apps. 
There's no learning path or anything with this app, but it does teach your child counting as well as shapes, letters, I mean everything under the sun, and it's very interactive and really age appropriate for the preschool to kindergarten age. Now our last app is a little bit more advanced because it's actually designed for older kids, kids ages eight to 13. But our last app is called Adventure Academy. And if your child is a little bit more advanced and you wanna expose them to what's to come, then this is the app for you. Adventure Academy allows your child to go on a quest, like an adventure. And they're gonna be going on a quest through all the different subject areas, math, reading, science and even social studies and they're going to follow the characters along and engage in this magical quest and this app will actually grow with your child because it goes to ages 13 duh anywho i'll also include the link down below in the description so that you can also try this app for your first months free and the creators of the app are the same creators from abc mouse so i'll also include the link down below in the description where you can get your first two months for only five dollars well, I hope you've heard some apps that you are very interested in and you can't wait to download. Don't forget to let me know down below in the comments what are your go-to learning apps that you use. And I know I've mentioned a lot of my other videos, so I've actually combined all of them into a technology resource playlist, so you can watch all of them right here in this playlist. And if you want to check out that Smart Cycle Bike, then go ahead and check out this video so that you can see what that Tech City app is all about. See you in the next video.